Hello, you are very welcome to this English vocabulary lesson on climate change. My name is Jer and I'll be narrating your lesson and you're very welcome to my channel, Learning English Pro. So if you're ready, let's get started learning some essential English on this really important topic. I'm sure you hear the term climate change a lot, but let's break down these words and understand what each of them means. The word climate means the weather conditions prevailing in an area in general or over a long period. So you can have places which have a cold climate, a climate which has lots of snow or is very cold, or you can have a hot climate, a place with high temperatures and perhaps not too much rain. Or how about a tropical climate which is humid and can have lush greenery but some dynamic weather. All around the world we have many many different types of climates. Okay let's move on to our next word which is change. You may know change as a common verb which means to make or become different. So when we put these two words together, climate change, it means a change in global or regional climate patterns. And we often see this change in rainfall and temperature. When we talk about rainfall and climate change, it's important to note that a climate may experience an increase or a decrease in rainfall. Someone in one part of the world may say, there is a lot less rain in my region due to climate change. And in a different part say, the climate in my country is much wetter now. And also, scientists have observed that the Earth's surface is warming. Some of the hottest years on record have been in the last 20 years. What can we call this? Is it a problem? An emergency? A crisis? A disaster? A meltdown? The term we use is global warming. Let's break this down to understand these words. Global is an adjective and it means something that is relating to the whole world, something that is worldwide. In this term, the word warming is a noun and it means the process of making something or of becoming warm or warmer. So how is this warming affecting the earth? One way is wildfires, and these are large destructive fires that spread quickly over woodland. In 2020, we saw massive wildfires in Australia and the Western USA, which were very devastating. The greatest warming of the Earth's surface is taking place at the Arctic. There has been a huge increase in the reduction of sea ice. You might hear a lot that the sea ice is melting. The word to melt is important and its definition is to make or become liquefied by heat. A sentence example is ice melts in the heat. And because of this melting ice, the earth is experiencing rising sea levels. Let's take a closer look at the word rise which is a verb and a noun. The verb definition is to move from a lower position to a higher one, to come or go up. You could say climate change will cause the sea level to rise. And moving on to the noun definition of rise, it means an upward movement, an instance of rising. Let's have a look at a sentence example. The recent rise in temperature is concerning. A question you may ask is, if the earth is getting warmer, why do we sometimes still have very bad winters? Answer is that we have also more intense or extreme weather with climate change. Like we can have much colder winters with much heavier snow. Another problem is that the planet is experiencing a lot more storms and extreme conditions. So just to summarize, global warming is causing climate change or another way we could say it is that climate change is a result of global warming. So then we need to ask the question what is causing global warming? I'm sure you know the reason why but to say it in English we would say 
the emission of gases which damage the atmosphere is causing climate change. Let's take a closer look at this word emission, which is a noun which means the production and discharge of something, especially gas or radiation. Another important word is atmosphere. This noun means the layer of gases surrounding the Earth or another planet. The two gases which are causing the problem of climate change are carbon dioxide and methane. To understand climate change, you need to know a lot of the heat from the sun should bounce off the Earth into space. But with the additional carbon dioxide and methane in the atmosphere, this creates a layer which traps heat from the sun in the Earth's atmosphere. And of course, we have a term for this. It is called the greenhouse effect. The full definition is the trapping of the sun's warmth in the planet's lower atmosphere. And unfortunately, the main cause of climate change, global warming and the greenhouse effect is human activity. And we are doing it through the following ways. Electricity and heat production. Industry like manufacturing. And we produce a lot of gases with our transportation. Another area of human activity which causes a lot of waste is agriculture and the commercial industry also contributes to gas production. Another big contributor is wastes, leaks and accidents. Another huge problem which is contributing to the issue is deforestation. Let's take a look at the definition of this noun. It means the permanent removal of trees to make room for something besides a forest and deforestation is happening all around the world. But why is it contributing to the problem of climate change and global warming? Trees absorb carbon dioxide in a process we call photosynthesis. And without our forests, the Earth's atmosphere will gain too much carbon dioxide and overheat. And if you want to learn more about photosynthesis in English, check out my video on my YouTube channel. The link for the video is on the screen right now. Let's move on and ask an important question. How can we help stop climate change? A handy way to remember how you can help is the three ORs. Reduce. Use less things in your daily life. Reuse. Use things again or more than once. And you should always recycle. Convert waste or unwanted items into reusable material. If you love nature, you may be called a nature lover or an environmentalist, conservationist, eco-warrior, or preservationist. Environmental activism describes a movement which is concerned with and or advocates for the protection of the environment. This is done through political actions such as public protests or at elections in aid of environmental issues. Within the subject of climate change, we also have a climate denier. And this is a person who rejects the proposition that climate change caused by human activity is occurring. But thankfully, these type of people are in the minority. Before we finish, please let me know in the comments in your best English how you are helping the fight against climate change. Please share any great tips that you have for recycling, reducing or reusing. I'd really like to thank you so much for watching my video today. And while you're here, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel? I have lots of fantastic English lessons like this one on money vocabulary. Click the link on screen now to bring you to that video. And coming up on screen are even more video suggestions for you. And you can check out my social media. The links are in the description below. Have a fantastic day and remember, keep learning English like a pro. Someone in one